जय श्री कृष्णा वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल टूडेज आर एस सी एग्जाम क्वेश्चन इज कॉन्फिगर आई एस के जी टारगेट ऑन क्लाइंट वन डॉट एग्जाम्पल डॉट कॉम विथ वन जी बी लॉजिकल वॉल्यूम टारगेट नेम शुड भी आई क्वेन डॉट टू जीरो टू थ्री आई फैन जीरो टू डॉट कॉम डॉट एग्जाम्पल डॉट क्लाइंट वन क्लोन आई एस के जी आई फैन ड्राइव इनिशियटर नेम शुड भी आई क्वेन डॉट टू जीरो टू थ्री आई फैन जीरो टू डॉट कॉम डॉट एग्जाम्पल डॉट क्लाइंट टू क्लोन आई स्के जी आई फैन शेयर ब्लॉक स्टोरेज ऑब्जेक्ट शुड भी आई स्के जी आई फैन डेस्क टारगेट विल बी एक्सेसिबल फ्रॉम क्लाइंट टू डॉट एग्जाम्पल डॉट कॉम ऑनली प्रोटेक्ट द आई स्केजी टारगेट सर्वर विथ फॉलोइंग यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड यूजर नेम आर एच एल पासवर्ड रेड हेट द एंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री स्टेप्स स्टेप वन डिस्क पार्टीशन फॉर आई स्केजी एल वी एम स्टेप टू आई स्केजी टारगेट सर्वर इंस्टॉलेशन एंड कॉन्फिग्रेशन स्टेप थ्री फायरवल कॉन्फिग्रेशन लेट स्टार्ट This is our client one dot example dot com host. First, we have to create a disk partition for iSCSI. Type lsbl ka command to show the present status of the disk partition. Here we have disk NVMe zero and two with five GB space. We are going to perform our task on this disk. Type the path of this disk with f disk command. Type P to view the present status of this disk. No partition has been created yet. Type N to create a new partition. Press Enter key to select default primary partition, or you can choose extended by pressing E. No matter. Press Enter key to choose default partition number. Again, press Enter key to select default sector. Type plus one G to create one GB disk partition as per the question. Type T to apply hex code on that partition. Type AT to change the type of partition, Linux to Linux LVM. Again, type P to view the status of the disk. Our 1 GB Linux LVM partition has been created, named NVMe 0N 2P1. Now press W to save this configuration. Again, type lsbl ka command. Yes, this is our just created disk partition. Now create physical volume on this partition. Create the volume group iSCSI VG. Through this command, create a logical volume by acquiring full space of the volume group. Type lsbl ka command again to verify the LVM partition. Okay, LVM partition has been created successfully. Type the following command to install iSCSI target server. complete start the iSCSI target service enable the iSCSI target service check the status of the iSCSI target service active and enabled Now type target CLI command to configure iSCSI target server. Type ls command to check the present status of the target CLI. Nothing configured yet. Tab key is very useful here. Type the initial letter of the command and press tab to complete the command line. Like I am typing initial letter of iSCSI and press tab to complete the rest. Hit enter key. Now type the following line to create target IQN as per the question. TPG or target portal group has automatically created with the target IQN which is the most important for this configuration. Let's check it by ls command. Okay, perfect. Now get into the back storage block to create storage object iSCSI-disk using our created LV as per the question let's check the status okay perfect now using tab key type the following line to get into the portals in this portals we are going to configure ip address first we have to delete existing ip address along with the port number now type the ip address of this system along with create command IP address has been created along with default port number of iSCSI target service 3260. Let's get back into TPG1 and access LANs 
Learn logical unit number is a logical unit of storage accessed as a block device. Learn has been created successfully. Let's get back again into TPG1 and access ACLs. Type the following line to create the node ACL for the initiator IQN and map it with target LUN. ACL access control list. Use here to tie the target to the specific iSCSI client. Ok, done. Now get back into the TPG1. Type following command to generate ACL within the TPG1 node. Type this command to set the attribute authentication for initiator. Ok, done. Now type the following path to set the user ID and password. CHAP Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol To protect the target server with a user ID and password. Type the following command to set the user ID as RHEL. Type the following command to set the password as Red Hat. Ok, all done. This is our full iSCSI target CLI configuration. Type save config command to save the configuration in etc target backup directory. Although it will save automatically when you will type exit and hit enter key. In the firewall configuration, type the following command to assign firewall access through the default iSCSI target TCP port 3260. Reload the firewall. By this following command, we can verify where the target port is listening. Ok, it's working fine. Sometimes a service or network restart will not suffice. So in that scenario, reboot your system. In the next tutorial video, we will solve the RSC question on iSCSI client or initiator configuration. Our question has been resolved successfully. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel to boost me up to create more knowledgeful videos. Thank you.